Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm in uh, Ross, Ohio. Ross, Ohio. Ross, Ohio. And I'm here with Debbie Faber, who's a uh, drag racer and a math teacher. Uh, Debbie, what's the best time you've ever done? 13.29 seconds in the quarter mile. In the quarter mile. And what were you driving? I was driving a 1987 Grand National that is with sequential fuel injection and a blower and an intercooler and a pit bull chip. All right, we got lots of fast things, I imagine. At any rate, uh, I've got a stopwatch here, and I was wondering if uh, you'd help me do something. I'd love to. All right, let's go do it. All right. Okay, that's right, that's right. Faster. Okay, we're at zero, and now we have to accelerate up to highway speeds. And give me some speeds readings. Your car beeps at 65, right? Uh huh. Okay. 10 seconds to get to 45. 55, and there's a guy in my way here. All right, okay, hold on, let's see what he's doing. Okay, okay. we're up to, okay, we're up to highway speeds from zero. Yeah, we are 60. Okay, are we going 60? Yeah. Okay, let's pass him. Ready, go. Was 65, oh yeah, we blew him away, and we're past him. All right, five seconds. 75 miles an hour. All right, that's awesome. All right, I got you passing that guy yeah. in five seconds, and that was so slow. It was. You were being very conservative. I appreciate that because we're, we're trying to be examples to the children. I am an exemplar, mm -hmm. and uh, I'd say that we did it in about 160 meters. I think that's reasonable. So now the kids, based on distance equals vit plus one fat squared, ought to be able to calculate your rate of acceleration. Yes, they should. Okay, we were traveling at uh, about 60 miles an hour, so they're going to have to convert that to uh, meters per second. They can do that. They, of course, they can. Of course, they can. We knew that. And then they can, uh, then they can do the uh, the algebra to solve for acceleration and yep. come up with that. Right. Now that's the quadratic, isn't it? Uh, the the basic equation that I teach is distance equals vit plus one half at squared. That's correct. But if you switch it to one half at squared plus vit minus distance equals zero, then that's a standard quadratic equation that would solve for the time it would take. That's right. It's in standard form. In standard form. Now, how do you solve for the quadratic? You've got a way of remembering how to do that? Well, instead of t using x, okay, you just remember x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. That's, what was that again? Do it. For, hold on. I've got to get a close-up of this. Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Okay. All right, close-up. Do it. X equals opposite B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all divided by 2A. Oh.